It was another big week for Bray Wyatt's story, so we'll see what's new there. We'll also check out what's going on with some major rumored plans for Edge and Finn Balor. Let's start things off with the latest on Bray Wyatt and LA Knight story. So the continuation for this storyline actually picked up before SmackDown went on air. It was early Friday evening when WWE posted a TikTok video to the same account that they were using during the White Rabbit teasers. We're to assume that the events of this TikTok video took place after LA Knight ran into Uncle Howdy the week prior. So LA Knight is captured and tied up to a chair, with his mouth covered and wearing Bray's new mask. LA Knight is trying to move around and break out, but nothing's working. Uncle Howdy is there just laughing and putting his finger over LA Knight's lips. So that's what happened after LA Knight ran into Howdy backstage. The story picks back up this time around with LA Knight walking to the ring to once again call out Bray Wyatt's actions. LA Knight says that he's no longer buying anything Bray Wyatt says and how he knows that Howdy and Bray are the same person. And this is realistic for the LA Knight character to say because it's what everyone was thinking. We've seen Bray Wyatt struggle with split personalities in years past, so it was perfectly reasonable for LA Knight to claim that Uncle Howdy is just Bray Wyatt. But out comes Bray Wyatt and he once again deflects the blame for the attacks on LA Knight. Bray promises LA Knight that he never laid a finger on him. LA Knight eventually gets Bray Wyatt into the corner and starts stomping him out. And then we get the biggest payoff moment of the story so far. Uncle Howdy emerges through the smoke on top of the entrance stage, therefore proving to LA Knight and the entire audience that Bray Wyatt and Uncle Howdy really are completely separate individuals after all. It was a big moment for the story, the smoke, the lighting, the camera angles, and just the overall production of the segment was spot on perfect. The only real critique that fans had with the segment was that they felt like the ending dragged on for a little while too long there. Uncle Howdy came out, that was a big moment, but then he really doesn't do anything, he just stays on the ramp laughing for a long time, and Bray Wyatt is in the ring, also doing nothing. So fans feel like they should have had the big Uncle Howdy reveal, have him do a quick laugh, quickly show Bray, and then fade to black shortly after that. So maybe the ending did get a bit dragged out and felt awkward towards the end, but still can't deny that this was the biggest reveal of the story so far. Ever since Uncle Howdy was revealed, everyone automatically assumed that it was just a twisted version of Bray Wyatt. Bray even voices the Uncle Howdy character, so it was reasonable to assume that it was him. It looks like WWE really wanted you to think that Bray was playing both characters, just so that this reveal of it being two separate individuals would have hit you even harder. So that's what they were going for, and that's what the reveal was. Bray has been saying this entire time that it wasn't him behind the attacks, but given the character's tendencies of being an unreliable narrator, it was hard to trust what Bray was saying. But now we know for certain that Bray Wyatt was in fact telling the truth. Uncle Howdy really is someone else. So now LA Knight was proven wrong and we'll have to find out a way to deal with both Uncle Howdy and Bray. As the time goes on now and now that Howdy has officially arrived, maybe now is when we'll see Bray Wyatt start to crack again. The entire good guy act could start coming to an end in the next few weeks. Maybe we'll start to see the aggressive version of Bray Wyatt again. But the biggest important question here is the question of who's really in control? Is Bray Wyatt in control or does Uncle Howdy really hold all the power? That's a really important question that we need to get answered soon because as of right now, it does look like Howdy is directing traffic and controlling the entire operation. Maybe there was some symbolism with Bray's return from back at Extreme Rules. All of Bray's puppets were out in the arena and then Bray came out and joined them moments later. So could that be a little hint that Bray himself is a bit of a puppet now for Uncle Howdy? Was there some connection there with that presentation? But now that we got the physical big reveal of Uncle Howdy, it's safe to assume that this is the individual that has been backstage with Bray. 
For several weeks now, Bray Wyatt was seen backstage talking to someone, but the person he was talking to was always out of the camera angle. Well now, given the new information and reveals, it looks like Bray was talking face to face with Howdy backstage this entire time. On top of everything that's going on between Bray, LA Knight, and Howdy, we also have to remember that two more characters are set to join this story in the very near future. We know that Howdy or Bray is reaching out and recruiting Alexa Bliss again. So it'll be interesting to see what is the role that Howdy has in mind for Alexa Bliss. Why does he need her services and will this tie back to WrestleMania 37? The other character that's set to join the story is of course Uncle Harper. December 16th was Brody Lee's birthday. Brody of course played Luke Harper during his time in WWE. Bray and LA Knight both paid tribute to Brody Lee by doing his multiple yeah chants on SmackDown. But some fans thought it would have been really poetic to see the Uncle Harper character debut on Luke Harper's birthday, but that didn't happen. Uncle Harper may not have debuted on Brody Lee's birthday, but the new character is still rumored to appear soon, so it'll be interesting to see what their role will be as well. There's also rumors of a new match taking place at the Royal Rumble. The new match is reportedly called a Pitch Black match, and the current belief is that this new match will be related to Bray Wyatt. So chances are that we could see Bray Wyatt versus LA Knight at the Royal Rumble with a brand new stipulation. So stay tuned for more news on that. Speaking of the Royal Rumble, another big match is now being rumored for the show. Reports claim that Finn Balor versus Edge is set for the Royal Rumble event, and the stipulation for their match at Royal Rumble is being rumored to be a Hell in a Cell match. Triple H did say that the Hell in a Cell event was going away, and how they would still use the Hell in a Cell during any time of the year to close out big feuds. So Edge versus Finn Balor falls right into that category. It's been a feud that's been going on since spring 2022, so a Hell in a Cell match for them at Royal Rumble would be the perfect ending for that story. The report claims that Finn Balor could also bring back the demon persona for this match. If that's true, this will be the first time that the demon Finn Balor will compete as a heel. So that's another interesting element thrown into this match. How different will the demon persona be now that Finn Balor is a heel? That should really twist things up right there. So demon Finn Balor versus Edge inside of a Hell in a Cell at Royal Rumble does sound like the perfect send off for that story. So we'll have to see if that's what they go with. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.